one of the most famous and successful British enterprises in the world. Every year, the ICI Roundel appears on many billions of pounds worth of products in more than 150 countries worldwide. The biggest company in the ICI group is ICI Chemicals and Polymers Limited. And a major business within it is ICI Soda Ash Products. It's also the oldest ICI business, dating back to 1873 when John Brunner and Ludwig Mann founded the company that was to become part of the organization that has grown into the world-renowned chemicals giant. Every year, ICI Soda Ash Products, based in Northwich, Cheshire, processes and supplies more than one million tonnes of chemicals, operating 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Chemicals which are used in a truly remarkable number of products for industry and the home. In fact, there's hardly a manufacturer or household in the land that does not have or use an article made with a chemical from ICI soda ash products. In all, there are eight different soda ash product areas. Sodium carbonate or soda ash, calcium chloride, sodium silicate, sodium bicarbonate, CREX, that is sodium sesquicarbonate, soda crystals, the home care range, and CPRI fire barrier filler. And every day, every one of them is making life better, easier, and safer for every one of us. To give you some idea of how ICI soda ash products touch upon all our lives, let's try to imagine what life would be like without them. Off to work? You won't get very far without an engine. No sodium silicate to cast the block. So you can forget the bus too. Ooh. You need a warm, relaxing bath after that. Warm? It'll soon go cold with no windows in the bathroom. No sodium carbonate to make the glass. Or sodium bicarbonate for the rigid PVC window frames. Relaxing? Sorry, no cracks to help your bath salt soften the water. Well, there's always the pub. Ah, but your favourite brew wouldn't be the same. No calcium chloride means no creamy head. You'll settle for a bottle then. Sorry, no sodium carbonate to make the glass. Remember? How about an ice cream? Forget it. No calcium chloride for safe refrigeration. And no cakes or biscuits either. Without sodium bicarbonate for baking powder, they won't rise. And poor Fido's not too happy. This meal looks like a dog's dinner. Pet food needs calcium chloride to make it rich and chunky. And no comfy carpet for him to sleep on either. The foam underlay needs sodium bicarbonate to make it feel warm and resilient. <sighs> Looks like you'll have to drown your sorrows with a double or two. But there's no sodium carbonate or bicarbonate to help you face the morning after. You'll watch TV instead. You won't. No glass for the tube, remember? It's enough to drive you to housework. Uh, sorry no home care products to do a proper cleaning job. That means you can forget the washing too. Washing powders just can't cope without sodium carbonate and sodium silicate. Okay, okay, calm down. Remember we're only imagining how impossible life would be without soda ash products. And that's only a few examples, would you believe? They're also used in metals and sugar refinery animal feed, concrete dust proofing, paper making, de-inking newsprint, drilling fluids for oil wells, food processing and many more. Vital, versatile products originating from a single supplier. What are the underlying processes behind these products? The answer is both simple and complex. 
Their manufacture is based on the Solvay ammonia soda process, originally carried out successfully in 1862 by Ernest Solvay in Belgium and established in Northwich in 1873 by Brunner and Mond. Today, the same chemical and engineering principles are applied at three ICI manufacturing sites in Mid Cheshire, Winnington, Wallacecote and Lostock. Ideal locations drawing upon the volume, high quality materials needed. All within easy reach. Materials such as limestone. 3,000 tonnes per day are delivered by train from ICI's quarries in Buxton, Derbyshire. Coke. 300 tonnes from South Yorkshire are used every day. Brine. 15,000 cubic metres per day are taken from under the Cheshire Plain by a solution mining process, which is one of the largest civil engineering operations in Europe. There's little evidence of this at the surface, where the ordinary day-to-day -day activities are carried out. These are the basic raw materials for soda ash products. The versatility of the Solvay process enables them to be processed and treated through many different stages to produce a range of high quality chemicals. In the first stages of the Solvay process, the limestone and coke are roasted together in a kiln to produce carbon dioxide gas and lime. The lime is slaked with water. Simultaneously, the brine solution is purified and pumped to the top of an ammonia absorption column where ammonia is bubbled up through the brine solution, resulting in ammoniated brine. The ammonia acts as an intermediate, and its recycle is essential to the economics of the process. The next stage takes place in the Solvay Towers, 90 feet tall, freestanding columns that are the key to the whole process. They operate in pairs, and inside them a number of chemical reactions take place. The carbon dioxide, liberated in the kilns, is bubbled into the base of the Solvay Towers, whilst the ammoniated brine is pumped to the top. A saturated suspension of sodium bicarbonate in ammonium chloride flows out of the base of the Solvay Towers and is vacuum filtered to create a crude sodium bicarbonate filter cake. The filtrate is distilled with the slaked lime to liberate ammonia which is fed back into the ammonia absorber. The process so far is common to all soda ash products produced using the Solvay process. Now let's look at the individual routes they take from this point. Calcium chloride. As we have seen, after vacuum filtering, the liquor is reacted with slaked lime to liberate ammonia and producing calcium chloride solution. This is purified by settling, evaporation and dilution to produce a liquor of around 36% strength. To produce sodium bicarbonate, some of the crude sodium bicarbonate filter cake resulting from the vacuum filtration of the sodium bicarbonate suspension is purified by decarbonation to a sodium carbonate solution which is again carbonated to re-precipitate a purified sodium bicarbonate slurry. This is centrifuged, dried and graded to numerous different grades to meet specific customer requirements for particle size. Light sodium carbonate is made by taking the bulk of the sodium bicarbonate filter cake and feeding it into a calciner which drives off water and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is recycled to the Solvay tires. The product from the calciner is light sodium carbonate which is conveyed to storage silos. Light soda ash is either sold directly to the customer or converted to the granular form. The production of granular sodium carbonate involves initially slurrying light soda ash with a weak soda solution in a large rotating drum. This produces sodium carbonate monohydrate, which is then fed to a dryer which converts the monohydrate to the anhydrous form and produces crystalline heavy soda ash. After cooling and grading, the granular product is stored in silos for dispatch. To make soda crystals, a portion of the soda ash is dissolved in water to produce a slurry of sodium carbonate decahydrate, from which is recrystallized the solid decahydrate. 
Crushing and centrifuging produces soda crystals, which are graded for dispatch. For CREX, that is sodium sesquicarbonate, crude sodium bicarbonate slurry from the filtration stage of soda ash manufacture is filtered, and the resultant sodium bicarbonate is fed into a mixer with soda ash. This mixture is passed into a crystallizer where a unique form of sodium sesquicarbonate is produced, which is dried and stored in a silo for sale as CREX. To make sodium silicate, granular soda ash and sand are fed into a furnace at about 1300 degrees centigrade, from which a glass is removed. After cooling, the glass is either sold or dissolved to produce silicate liquors. Many grades of sodium silicate liquor are produced by adding caustic soda to adjust the sodium silica ratio. So that's how the Solvay process works. And how it produces so many of the ICI soda ash products essential to everyday life. But it's not just their range and high quality that has won them a worldwide reputation. Each one of them is backed by a technical specialist with a unique grasp of your own product and market needs. Who can give you expert guidance on product development? Continuing investment in research and technology ensures that both new and existing products keep pace with today's developments. The latest ICI soda ash product, for example, is Seapri, a non-toxic fire barrier product formulated as a filler to help a wide range of materials safely withstand temperatures up to 1100 degrees centigrade. Supply and delivery? ICI soda ash products provide a highly organized, streamlined service throughout the UK and an export service to meet demand worldwide. However large or small your requirements, we can source them quickly from more than 40 warehouses throughout the British Isles and deliver fast. Above all, ICI Soda Ash Products sets the highest standards of quality and safety in every aspect of its products and service. Maintaining the highest quality of relationship with its customers through personal contact, essential to meeting their exact needs, and to assure the future prospects and prosperity of its business. It all adds up to a range of superior products and support services to the standards you'd expect from a business with the resources and reputation of ICI behind it, to help your products meet the challenge of today and to make the most of your opportunities tomorrow. ICI Soda Ash Products. You couldn't build your future on better chemistry.